Unlike the hilly states of Uttarakhand, Himachal and Jammu and Kashmir, which depend on glaciers for their water, the northeastern states are dependent on the monsoon. So it is a disturbing trend where we are seeing rainfall deficits in the northeast but more flooding. Assam, which is used to seeing three floods in a year, is not able to cope with the unpredictability of weather extremes as the number of floods increase every year. Its topography plays a major role in this. Towards the north is the Brahmaputra River Valley, whereas towards the south is the Borak River Valley. In between are the Karbi Anglong and Kachar Hills. Districts north of the Brahmaputra like Borpeta, Sunitpur, Lakhimpur and Nolbari are seeing fewer number of rainy days, but the intensity of rainfall is very high. This causes chaos in districts towards the south of the river like Golaghat, even though rainfall recorded is low there. Till April this year, the deficit was 43%, after which the deluge covered up for it. How has the nature of monsoons and floods changed in Assam over the last few years? Here's a look at some examples. 2022, in Assam's Dima Hassau district, people are blaming haphazard development in addition to the climate crisis. Blasting the hills of Dima Hassau without assessing the soil to link the Borak Valley, Mizoram, Tripura, Manipur via rail and unplanned construction of roads in the North Kachar Hills has led to mudslides during the rainy season, which has resulted in the new half-long railway station to be enveloped in mud, according to Holiram Terang, an activist. These projects in Assam use coarser sand, which is being carried downstream by the Brahmaputra every year and is replacing the fertile alluvial soils. 2021 Many villages in the Ksuru-Potha region declared a drought in July when the crops should have been lush with water from the rains. A hydroelectric project was said to have disrupted the natural flow of the river Doyang, a tributary of the Brahmaputra River escalating losses from a depleting monsoon. Till April, the rainfall deficit was 45%, which resulted in a 40% crop deficit. Rivers are also regularly changing course because of intense rainfall days, which forces river to carry more silt and change course. 2020, the Golaghat district of Assam, through which the Doyang River flows to join the Brahmaputra, has not witnessed a normal monsoon in 30 years. The three waves of floods that Assam is used to are no longer predictable. The fourth wave in 2020 destroyed crops worth about a thousand crores and affected 2.8 lakh hectare of farmland. 2019, when the district of Baksa was flooded, the rainfall deficit in the northeast was 38%, according to IMD. According to reports from the Disaster Management Authority, when water was released from the Ranganadi hydroelectric project, it damaged crops and displaced over 10,000 people. Declining vegetation cover due to drought stress also enhances soil erosion and can lead to desertification. 2018. In the Brahmaputra Valley, the Kopili River wreaked havoc in the hill districts of West Kachar and Karbi Anglong, while flooding in the Nishari River affected Nagao district. Over 40% of the Dibru Saikhova National Park and Biosphere Reserve was submerged under the floodwaters of the Dibru River. Rainfall deficit in the state was 26% at the time. These are examples only from the last five years. But every year, the climate crisis in Assam becomes more intertwined with destruction of wetlands, deforestation, unplanned development and encroachments on riverbanks.